Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am back with another video. Today's set is going to be for my Tauruses. A few ladies here, my subscribers, requested that I do a set with um glitter and bling and then emerald green so that is what i'll be doing for this set i'm a little late i did film this video like a week and a half ago um but happy early birthday or late birthday to all of my tauruses but without further ado you all the products i will be using for today's set is gonna be nail houses showstopper zule's um esmeralda and then the nude there in that crown dish is mia secrets cover pink and then also in the second nail house jar is just some clear acrylic which is actually from mia secret but i put it in that jar as usual i am using nail houses size 16 kalinsky brush as well as their pro monomer and their 3xl square tips and anyone interested in shopping nail house can find the link to their sites in the description below and use code Portia for savings. So for this set, you all, um, my Tauruses that left their suggestions of what they wanted it to look like, they didn't say anything in particular, but glitter, bling, and one of them, the other one said um, emerald green. So I'm just gonna be doing my own thing and freestyling this design, or I did. And I'm gonna be starting off here on the middle fingernail with an acrylic V fringe, again, using Me Secrets Cover Pink. And I've never done a acrylic V fringe before. I've only done the U-shaped one. So um, it was a little different, you know, doing this. And it came out okay. I have to practice my acrylic V fringes more, but I'm gonna be doing that on the or starting that on the middle fingernail and then doing the same thing on the thumb as well. So how have you all been? I know it, I'm saying it like I can hear y'all in real time, but I hope y'all have been well. I've missed y'all. It's been a little while since I've posted or um, well, uploaded or been on here like live or something. I think it was like a week and a half ago. And I know normally I'm on here every couple days or so, but yeah, I've just been super busy. Um, I did post the other day, like two days ago, I did upload a video. I don't know how many of you all seen it. It was a Shein nail haul. Um, just a quick little video. But this is my other video, you know, returning. So I hope you all have been well. And I'm going to be working on getting my or getting some content out to you all. We're going to be moving into summer pretty soon here. Um, and I'm super excited, although it doesn't feel like it because the weather is so wishy-washy, but I'm super excited to be moving into doing bright colored nails and things like that. Um, so that will be coming soon. Leave any like of your suggestions of nails y'all want to see in the comment section below. I know I like to, you know, ask y'all what y'all want to see and I try to deliver. I know it's some things that I still have to film for you all. Um, it just be like so many things, so many ideas and things like that. But y'all, I be trying, girl, be trying. But stay tuned and make sure that those bell notifications are on. So I'm not a pro at acrylic fringes. However, like the tip that I always give is to, um, I always like to start with my first bead, like um, where the tip of the natural nail me and like build and go up to the cuticle area from there. Just because I think it's easier, especially with acrylic fringe, because 
um, it can be a little difficult starting at the cuticle area and trying to form um, a U French or a V French from there. I know for me, it probably would. And it's just easier to start there and build up from there. Um, and if you um, want or have to with creating a V French, you can use like an X Acto knife or something like that. Um, but you can also just use your brush to shape the shape that you want, as you all can see. And I do recommend to build up the acrylic French, like this part here. Um, not like super thick, but thick enough to where you're able to grip the sides of the whole French thing with the foul, like when you begin to foul so that it doesn't slip. Now, I didn't build mine up as thick as I normally do um, on either this um, the thumbnail or the middle fingernail and you all will see kind of when i'm filing that the file slips but um yeah i don't mind the slipping but if you do it too thin it won't even like catch nothing at all if that makes sense so you want to build it up pretty or thick enough just thick enough um so that you're not struggling and stuff like when you begin to file and also when you're creating your shape especially the V French, like I said, the tip of the brush is your best friend. And also as well, how high or low you want your French is personal, you know, preference. I personally like my V Frenches like all the way at the tip. And I don't know why I didn't do that with this acrylic. Um, I don't know if you all, you all know what I mean by that, but basically I would have extended the nude all the way to the tip. That's how I like my V Frenches personally. Um, but then also with the U Frenches, you can have it as high or as low as you want to. All right, you all. So after having done that, I'm gonna go in on my ring fingernail and index fingernail with Showstopper from Nail House, y'all. And look how beautiful this glitter is. Like this is my favorite or one of my favorite glitters from Nail House. Um, it's so beautiful and you can use it for many different things and many different sets. Y'all, as I can see, it was super runny there because um, I didn't enjoy the liquid too much because from what I remember, this acrylic is like a little bit more faster drying, but I don't know, it was acting um, super slow drying this day. So I just tried that beat again. And I just love this um, glitter. You all have seen me use it on a few sets I've done before. I, I just love this glitter. And I just love No House's glitters in general. Like in my opinion, they have some of the best glitters. And if you haven't tried any of No House's glitters, I highly recommend it. They have a huge variety of a bunch of different colors and kinds.
look how pretty y'all like this glitter is so cute and it gives me like prom vibes i love it moving on into the application on the pink and yellow i'm going to be using zule's esmeralda i love this emerald green glitter it's super pretty um i've used it a few times before so i'm gonna go on on the pinky with this on the full nail and then after that i'm gonna go ahead and shape up my v fringes just a little bit not too crazy because i will be applying more acrylic over it so i'm just gonna shape the sides up a little bit and then apply the esmeralda glitter as well to the bottom or in the sides and all that to fill in the you know negative space So y'all can see a little bit of what I mean when I say if you don't build up this part enough, like thick enough, um, the file will slip like because it doesn't have much to grip onto. And if you don't build it up thick enough at all or just even a little bit, it won't even grip onto anything and it will just be a whole mess. I remember, you know, starting out doing acrylic fringes and it was like that for me. So yeah, you want to build it up, you know, a nice thickness so that you're able to grip and file it without slipping so again like i said i'm going to be going in and filling it in with esmeralda this green glitter here and um when i do my acrylic fringes i like to be careful in the way i'm applying the acrylic in the negative space just because i don't like to go over and file um like when i fill in the negative space i just like to go ahead and encapsulate and then file the entire nail um i just don't like you know making a mess so that's what i'm just doing here and i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch
All right, and that is how the first V French is looking. Loving it. I love this um, emerald green glitter. Zule did her thing with this one. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, and apply or do the same thing to the thumbnail. And you all will see it on thumbnail. I did have like a few of those little specks of glitters left on the nude part. Um, and I forgot to file it off, but it's okay. Like, well, I really didn't forget. I kind of forgot as well as didn't care because it don't have to be perfect. And it was just like, yeah, but anyway. <laughs> All right, y'all, and this is how we're looking with the application complete before encapsulating in clear. Super cute, and it is giving me, like, prom vibes. Like, I would so wear a set like this to prom if I was wearing, like, um, emerald green. Well, we're not done yet, but this is really, really cute. So I'm going to go in now and encapsulate all of the nails with Mia Secret's clear acrylic.
Alrighty y'all, that's how we're looking with the application all the way complete. And this emerald green looks absolutely gorgeous. Matte, like I'll have to do this matte one time to see how like a set with this green matte and see how it would look. But they look both or bomb both ways, but yeah. Anyway, we're gonna move into shaping and filing now. And you all know if you want a full or may not know, that's why I say it. <laughs> but if you all want a full in-depth shaping tutorial, I do have one on my channel. It is actually linked below along with some other videos that may be, you know, of interest of you all like beginner friendly. No curved thumb today, y'all. I was feeling straight, so that is what we did. You all know I like to do my thumb curve, and I actually did a set that will be coming up next, actually, because um, you all wanted me to do a set with all of the nails curved, so I didn't forget that time, and I did do that set, so stay tuned for that one. But that is how we're looking so far. I'm going to go ahead now with my e-file, with my extra fine 5-in-1 carbide drill bit. And go ahead and shape and define underneath the nails as well as the tips. And then lastly, seal my cuticle area. The drill and the drill bed that I am using is actually from Amazon. And you can find them both in my Amazon storefront, which is linked in the description below.
Okay, y'all, this is how we're looking with the nails completely shaped and filed. I'm absolutely loving it. Next, I'm gonna go in and buff the nails, clean them off, and then we're gonna move into these designs, y'all. And this video's uh, quite a little bit longer than normal because we did a whole lot of stuff. These nails are kind of intricate, so... But you all say you enjoy the longer videos because y'all do our nails along with me, which is super dope. I love it. Um... And yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna move into these designs with the bling and everything, y'all. These nails are actually fired just like this, but I know I can't do basic nails. Basic nails are cute sometimes, don't get me wrong, but y'all don't want to see basic nails. Um, comment in the comment section below if you're a basic girl or you got to have like bling or some type of design or something like that. Anyway, y'all, so I'm going to go in on my index fingernail first and create some 3D flowers. They're going to be white and the white that I'm going to use for it is actually just going to be some white that I custom mix using Me Secrets Clear in their um white or 3d white acrylic i'm going to be going in and using some emerald bling and as well as golden shadow and i'm going to be um encap not encapsulating um incorporating <laughs> not encapsulating incorporating these caviar these gold caviar beads and this whole look like i just love the way caviar beads can bring out a look so i'll be incorporating those on all of the nails as well but for right now i'm going to use them to um outline like this you know little bling here because it's going to be like the inside of the flower is going to be super super cute and this time for this whole set of you all saw there a moment ago i am going to be using the zule bling adhesive to adhere all of these crystals All right, y'all. So that is how our base is looking for the 3D flowers. Super, super cute. I am loving it. And I'm going to go ahead and spray this hurry up and dry spray um, to, you know, go ahead and dry the glue quicker. Um, I get a lot of comments uh, with this spray as well as the Mia Secret Activator spray that I used to use but no longer. But what those do, like what the spray is for, and it's just to dry the glue like almost instantly. Um... The glue, this one in particular, the Zule Bling Adhesive, will dry on its own. It kind of dries pretty quickly too sometimes, but um, 
it is just to go ahead and like speed up the process of drying the glue if that makes sense but some glues have to be cured and some um air dry but you'll just have to know which glue you're working with and most of the time the ones that need to be like cured it will say gel or something like that um and then the ones that don't and they air dry will be a little bit um like thinner if that makes sense um and it will be an actual glue so yeah so as you all just saw there, I started off this flower with doing the two pointy ones like um, on the top and bottom. And then in the middle, I'm going to do three little petals. And y'all, I'm not perfect at my three flowers. I'm not, you know, there yet. I'm still, you know, getting the hang of it. Um, especially with working with um, whites. Yeah. Um, but this is just how I'm doing it. And I'm sure you all have seen these type of flowers before. So that's what I'm doing. And... A tip that I will have always for doing 3D flowers is to put a little acetone in your monomer. Well, sometimes we're doing white, especially with this one here, since it is a mixture of Me and Secrets 3D white. It already dries kind of faster. But like if you're doing like cutted flowers or something like that, or just flowers, um, you probably want to add a little bit of acetone, just a few drops in your monomer so that the acrylic can dry a little bit faster and you're able to mold them like properly or how you want them to look if that makes sense so yeah but again as you all or as i said and as you all will see um these didn't come out perfect um i did have to do that one actually when i just did over because it was a little bit too big and too long like i'm still working on it y'all i'm still working on it but y'all know with anything practice and repetition makes improvement So the reason I did these two flowers like this is because I'm going for like a swirl look. You all will see um, when I place the crystals. I've done this type of design before on a few sets I've done in the past and I absolutely love it. And I wanted to do it, you know, kind of similar for this one. Um, and yeah, you all will see. All right, and that is pretty much how that nail is looking. I love it so much. It's so pretty. It's one of my favorite nails throughout the this set. Um, but yeah, next I'm going to go, well, I went ahead and sprayed it with some hair up and dry spray. And next I'm going to go in on the middle fingernail with just like a little crystal placement um, along the middle. I don't pretty much like doing, I know some people do like, um, like cuticle bling. I don't really, you all don't see me do that very often at all. Like pretty much not at all. So I'm going to go in with, a like a big crystal placement design down the middle of the nail. And then I'm going to move on to the ring finger nail with a little Taurus charm and a little crystal placement. But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys pretty much enjoy watching the rest of the design part without, you know, rambling.
All right, y'all, this is how the nails are pretty much looking before top coat. Super beautiful. I am loving it. I'm going to go in with Dynamic Nail Supplies Super Shiny Thickened Top Coat. This is my favorite top coat ever. So I'm going to go in with that on all the nails. They're all going to be shiny. And um, y'all will see towards the end, I did go ahead and decide to outline the V Frenches in gold. And you all see what I use, um, which I'm super glad that I thought about it because at first I didn't. I was pretty much done with the nails. But I'm super glad that I did go in and outline the V Frenches because with gold because it just made it pop as well as my v frenches weren't too hot anyway i have to practice those more they weren't as sharp as i like them or as sharp as it would have been if i did it with my um, gel like i usually do but yeah also like you all can see me doing here uh sometimes I like to take a liner brush with some gel or the top coat and apply it's you know in those spaces where i can't really um get in there with the brush without getting it all over the cuticle area or all over the crystal so that's a little tip um to help with that and yeah All right, y'all, this is how it's looking so far. Like I said, I did almost, well, not almost forget because I didn't think about it until literally the last minute to apply some gold liner to the V Frenches, like outlining them. I thought that would be really, really cute. Um, and the thing about um, what you all will see me use, which is Zule's painting gel um, in her color. Well, I was going to use this one here, the dark champagne, but that was a little bit too dark and didn't quite match the gold, like, Theme. Um, so I went in and got light gold instead. And I love about her painting gels that you don't need to cure them. They're a, um, a no wipe or whatever. So you don't have to cure them. I love that. So I went in with that and it just made the whole look um, pop even more. And these give me very much like prom vibes, even like birthday nails. Like I love these so much. Um, you can do the set as well and you don't have to use Taurus Charm. You can use any um, Zodiac you want um, or you can skip Zodiac or whatever. Like, I think these are really cute. And if you all recreate these, I would love to see y'all's um, y'all's creations and tag me on Instagram. I always see them there and repost them to my story. Like, y'all be doing a lot of things on these recreations. But, um, so I'm going ahead and outlining this and y'all my one of my favorite nails besides the index finger nail with the flowers is the thumb actually i really love that one but yeah y'all in that last clip did i say you don't have to cure them i don't know why i always say that i mean you don't have to top coat them these painting gels from zule i think i have I pretty, think I pretty much have all of them. I love them. If you don't have any of her paints and gels, highly recommend it. They're super bomb. But her paints and gels, you do not have to top coat them is what I meant. Not cure them. Of course, you have to cure them. They're gel. Um, but yeah, I love that you don't have to top coat them because you can go in with them um, on top of any design and can skip top coating. All 
all right y'all this is how we're looking for real these are the final results i think they are so beautiful i hope my tauruses love these as well as everyone but um this is for my tauruses in particular i think this is y'all birthstone it's like green like an emerald green right i think it is but yeah shout out to all of my the few tauruses who suggested i do bling and glitter and then the other girl who said i forget i'm sorry i forget your name i forget who said it comment below you know who you are who said do emerald green so this is for y'all and i just hope you all like and enjoy um if you did enjoy this video and love these nails go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up leave your thoughts in the comment section below comment what sets you all want to see me do next Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you're loving the content and that you have your bell notifications on so that you're notified each and every single time that I post a new video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.